Hello everyone! So today I'm going to share with you this easy and delicious recipe for shrimp tacos, plus a bonus recipe of this incredible bean dip. So let's get started. The bean dip recipe is something I saw recently on Instagram from a woman named Lindsay whose handle is at healthy happy home. So I'll link to her down below. This recipe starts with two cans of refried beans and I always use the fat free because the only difference on the ingredients list is that regular refried beans have lard and the fat free doesn't. So I figure it might be a slightly healthier choice. You also use one four ounce can of diced green chilies and three tablespoons of taco seasoning. So for me that's one and a half of these packets. I'm also using one brick of softened cream cheese and two cups of shredded Mexican blend cheese. You could eliminate the green chilies or use maybe half a can. You could also substitute half a cup of salsa too or even use a can of Rotel. It's a very flexible recipe and it will always taste really yummy. So I just threw all the ingredients into a large mixing bowl and then used my electric hand mixer to incorporate them all together. Now clearly refried beans are not the most glamorous looking ingredient, but I promise that this tastes amazing. So once everything was all mixed together, I greased a square glass baking dish and I spread the bean dip inside and then I topped it with a little bit of extra cheese. I thought that wouldn't hurt in the flavor department and also it would make the top of the dip look a little more enticing. So this baked at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes until it was bubbling and in the meantime I got started on my shrimp tacos. I'm starting with a creamy coleslaw topping for my shrimp tacos. So I'm using about a quarter cup of plain yogurt and a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I should have used a measuring cup because I ended up with a little bit of extra dressing because I only wanted to use half a bag of my coleslaw mix. But in any case, I juiced half of a lime to start and mix it together to check the consistency, but I wanted my dressing to be a little thinner, so I ended up using the other half of the lime too. And it adds this really nice, fresh tanginess to the dressing. It pairs perfectly with the shrimp. Then I seasoned it to taste with a little bit of coarse salt and freshly cracked black pepper and also a little pinch of sugar and then I stirred that all together. Now to give this kind of a Tex-Mex flavor, I sprinkled in just a pinch of chili powder, garlic powder and cumin. Then I added in, as I said, about half a bag of my pre-shredded coleslaw mix. It makes it so easy. You don't have to shred the cabbage up yourself. And then I also had some green onions and cilantro on hand in my fridge. So I chopped up about four green onions and also about half a bunch of fresh cilantro. And I mixed that into my coleslaw too. So it had these nice fresh flavors and the creamy dressing. And it was such a great addition to my tacos. Now these are my husband's favorite shrimp from Aldi. They're frozen and they have the shells on, which unfortunately meant that I had to peel them all myself after I cooked them. But when you cook the shrimp in the shells, they really are extra juicy and flavorful. So we love to have these on hand in our freezer. I defrosted two bags of these shrimp and then I placed them in a large bowl and added a few tablespoons of olive oil, the juice of one lime, and two pressed garlic cloves. I seasoned them with a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of chili powder and cumin. And then I tossed them all together. And you don't wanna let them sit too long or else the acidity from the lime juice will actually cook the shrimp itself. So this was just to add a little extra flavor and then I tossed them into a hot skillet. Shrimp cooks so quickly, so after just about a minute, I was able to start flipping them to the other side. You'll know they're finished when they've curled up a little bit more, they're pink and they're opaque. The final topping I prepared for my shrimp tacos was fresh mango. So this is how I peel my mangoes. I cut off the top and bottom so I can stand it up 
stably and then I just carefully slice the skin off trying not to take off too much of the actual fruit itself and then I cut the mango off of its pit which is this huge thick seed right in the middle and then dice it up and this mango was almost at the point of being too overripe to use but we were able to salvage it for these tacos and it tasted really great it adds this sweet juiciness to the tacos that just can't be beat After the bean dip baked, I left the oven on while I prepared the other ingredients for the shrimp tacos, and I wrapped a bunch of small flour tortillas up in foil and popped them in the oven just so that they would warm up a little bit. So these are the components of our shrimp tacos. We have our delicious sauteed shrimp, creamy coleslaw, and tropical mango ready to go. You can definitely substitute corn tortillas if you prefer those. I have a gas stove, so I like to heat mine up over the open flame. It gives them a nice charred exterior. But in any case, you can see me building my shrimp tacos here. They were absolutely out of this world delicious. We love them so, so much. And they are such an easy, flavorful summertime dish. And of course, we had our delicious bean dip on the side too. I hope you give both these recipes a try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great recipes like these. Thank you so much for joining me here today in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon.